we're the last hire first fire. Matter of fact, we're so cursed. The other nations, uh, uh, the so-called East Indians, uh, uh, Arabians, they'll move in your hoods and set up shop and open it up their stores selling you poison, selling you pork, selling you cigarettes, black and mild, so you can kill yourself and they can get rich off of you. Wait! That shows we are cursed in the city. Hey, what's your name? What's your name? Tank. Tank? Hey, I'm Samuel. Nice to meet you. So, so, do you know why we're out here? Have you ever seen us before? Okay, okay. Let me ask you a question. So, well, before I ask the question, we're out here to show our people who we are according to the Bible. Because so long we've been going without a nationality. So long we've been going without a heritage, right? So, let's start here. What is your nationality? Let's start here. Let's start at the grassroots. What's your nationality? Now, um, when I'm applying for a job, I have to put black or African American. Black or African American. That's the one I gotta put. So let me ask you something. Is that truly our God-given name? Not even. So let's deal with black and African American. And this is for all the other brothers in earshot that may call themselves black and African American as well. We're going to bring out the history on that, right? So let's deal with black. Your shirt is black. Your hair is black. My pants and my boots are black. But are you and I black? Really, if you look, if you look at everything from the flesh, are we actually black? We're not. You're brown. You're, a, you're, a, you're a derivative of brown. Wait. Oh, okay. Black yeah. is a name that was put on you by yeah. the same people yeah. that enslaved you. But, but check this out, check this out, check, check this out. You said African American as well. That name comes from two so-called white men. Leo Scipio Africanus and Amerigo Vespucci. So how on earth can we come from two white men? Let's just start there, right? So we're not black, we're not African American. So what else would that lead? Do you think the Bible tells us who we are? Maybe. Okay, Maybe. let's get Isaiah 1 to 3 real quick. Uh, and, and, and I want to show you something. Don't feel bad because you don't know. Because at one point in time, all of us up here, we didn't know who we were. Right. We were calling ourselves black, African American, Asiatic black man, all these different names. But the Bible is the source of all answers, and it tells us who we are today. That's right. Check this out. Isaiah 1 to 3. The book of Isaiah, chapter 1 and verse 3. Uh -huh. The ox knoweth his owner, uh -huh. and the ass his master's crib. So, so far, we just read about two animals. It says the ox knows his owner, so the ox knows who owns him, right? And it says the ass his master's crib. So, that ass knows where he stays, right? They both know their role, but check this out. But Israel! But it says, but Israel. Now, Brother Tank, have you ever heard of the name Israel before? A little bit. A little bit. What's the little bit that you know about it? I know the word Israelite. Okay, yeah. Israelite. Okay, okay. Uh, we'll, work, we, we'll work with that. But Israel what? But Israel doth not know. So, wait a minute. We just read in the scriptures that Israel doth not know. So we're reading about a people that doesn't know who they are. They don't know their heritage. Hey. They don't know their nationality. They don't know their God. Right. Does that sound like a certain group of people that's on the earth today? You wanna know how it is a certain people on the earth today? Because I asked you what's your nationality, you gave us the same names that the people that hate our guts gave us. <laughs> that shows that we are the Israelites according to the Bible. You too, brother, and the black hat right there that's walking around. You are an Israelite according to the Bible. But check this out, keep reading. But Israel does not know. So we don't know who we are. If you didn't know, the Israelites, are the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We are the Biblical Jews according to the Bible. Right. Yes, right. Yeah. My people does not consider. But you heard before where it says, Israel doth not know. Then it says, my people doth not consider. So that shows that Israel, the Israelites, the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, they are God's people. That's possessive. Yes, right. It says, my people what? Doth not consider. They don't consider. That's why if you look at our hoods today, 
it's you ever notice it's the same thing when you come you always see a corner store you see a laundromat you see a, a, a liquor store and there's always odd people that's hanging around them like they have nothing to do when you have the opportunity to learn who you are that's right do you not realize it's the same thing it's the same process over and over again read it again it says my people what my people do not consider God's people rather just chill all day, chill in the shade, holler at shorties, drink beer, smoke, the father of the temple. But what you have to realize is that the Most High God led you up here for a reason, Brother Tate. You're no longer a black or African American. You're an Israelite according to the Bible, man. Yes, right. Right. Let me ask you a question. What is your father? Let's deal with the tribe. What, what's the nationality of your father? Would, be, would he be a so-called African American, black man? What's your nationality? Yes? Yeah. So, okay, so now, let's deal with what tribe you'll be from. Because remember, we said before that the blacks, American blacks, they're from the tribe of Judah, right? So now, seeing that that's what tribe your father's from, let's show you what the Bible says. Get that in Numbers. The book of Numbers, chapter 1 and verse 18. Uh -huh. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. Right now we're reading about a custom that the Israelites kept then. And honestly, it's still supposed to be kept today. So read. And they assembled themselves. Start from the top, start from the top. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. And they declared their pedigrees. Now, Brother Tink, what is a pedigree? You ever heard of that word before? What's a pedigree? That's fine, that's fine. And there's nothing wrong with that. We're here to help you with your brothers. A pedigree would go into your bloodline, right? Right. So start from there, they declared their what? They declared their pedigrees, their bloodline, after their families, uh -huh. by the house of their fathers. So you are who your father is. So if your father's a so-called black man, that would make you a so-called black man, which would make you from what tribe? Judah. So you're an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. Right. That's right. That's right. So don't call yourself a black man no more. So now, now that we established that you're an Israelite from the tribe of Judah, do you think that that's it? What else do you think that comes with that? Bring it up. Teach. What else, what else do you think comes with that, knowing that I'm an Israelite from the tribe of Judah? Do you think that's it? No, I don't think that's it, but you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't know what else. Okay, let me ask you this. When you look around in the areas that we live in, let's just stick with Columbia, South Carolina. I don't know if you were born and raised here or whatever, but seeing we're here right now, when you look at the conditions of our people, what have we done as a nation of people to be in the lower state that we're in? What do you think we've done? And this is gonna tie back into the question when I said, is there more to knowing that you're an Israelite? I guess uh, we ain't really like, Come together, stand on what we believe in. Mm. Just let somebody else tell us what we supposed to believe in. Okay. That's probably I could work with that. So you said that we didn't stand on what we believe in, and we let somebody else tell us. Tell us what? What we should believe. Right? What we should believe. Mm. Yeah. I like that. I like that. And I'm going to bring it home for you. You want to know why we're in the lowest conditions now? Wake them up. Because we broke the commandments of God. Right. You familiar with the commandments? Let me show you something real quick. Get Deuteronomy. Get, first, get Deuteronomy 1 and 1, because I want you to know that this Bible is true and for the Israelites. That's right. This isn't a, 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 a all nations book. Like, just like go back to what you said. You said they tell us what they want us to believe in. Your own presses that hate you said this is a book for everybody. But no, this Bible is true and for the Israelites. That's, That's right. right. Get Deuteronomy 1 and 1. Let me show you something real quick. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 1 and verse 1. Uh -huh. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel uh -huh. on this side of Jordan, uh -huh. in the wilderness, in the plain over against the Red Sea, mm. between Paran and Tophel and Laban and Hezeroth uh -huh. and Dizahab. So I wanted to read that because right now we're seeing that Moses is speaking to an audience of people, right? Right. Now what we're going to read further on is what's being spoken to the Israelites, right? Get Deuteronomy 28 15. Because I asked you, what do we do to be in a low condition that we're in now, right? Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. Uh -huh. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, 
to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day. So, quick history lesson. Are you familiar with, um, you, ever, you heard of Moses before, right? No, you heard of Moses, right? So, say it again. Okay, okay, so you know a little bit. So, the Israelites were in Egypt serving hard bondage under the Egyptians, right? Wake them up. Moses, the Most High God chose Moses to lead the, Isra the Israelites out of Egypt. And when he left Egypt, he went into the wilderness. In the wilderness, there were laws, statutes, and commandments that were given to us, right? Read from the top again. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 15. Oh, but it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes were commanded this day. So it says if we didn't hearken, if we didn't listen to the word of God, if we didn't do the commandments that were given to us, read. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Now let me ask you a, a, a question, Brother Tank. Do you feel as a people that would curse? I mean, I'm not really sure. You know, uh, I'm not going to say that we're cursed because I feel like we can't overcome it if we are. But um, we just gotta, we just gotta like talk more, communicate more, come. Yeah, we just gotta meet up somewhere. Just like the others, you know, they stick together. So right, they don't right, really right. go nowhere from each other. Right, exactly. You know, they don't even, yeah, like they so, don't go nowhere really. My sister, what's your name? I know you walked up. Amaya. Amaya. Hey, Tank, you supposed to be listening this way, man? Tank and Amaya. All right, I'm Sammy, I'm Sammy. So right now, when he was talking about the beatdowns that the Most High God is taking us through because we disobeyed his commandments. So let's just show you a couple, and we're going we're gonna to do a process of elimination. We're going to see if the nation of people that's being talked about in this Bible is the same people that are here today, which are you and I, all right? Deuteronomy 28 and 15. We'll stop in there and read them. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. Uh -huh. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day. So if we didn't listen to the one true God, if we didn't listen to and obey his law, statutes, and commandments, read. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Now I ask Brother Tank, now I'm going to ask you, Sister Maya, is a curse a good thing or bad thing? I'm going to ask you two questions. Is it a good thing or bad thing? And once you answer, I'm going to ask the next one. Go ahead. No bad thing. It's a bad thing? Okay. Now, second question. Are we as a nation of people cursed today? Okay, in a way, what you mean? Let's 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 talk. Let's dialogue. Um, <laughs> I can't really explain it, but um, yeah, I can't really explain it. We okay. All right. Well, read verse sixteen. Curse shall thou be in the city. When you look in the city of uh, Columbia, South Carolina, what nation of people lives in the ghettos and slums? Okay, and blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, right? In those areas we live in, what goes on in those areas? You can answer too, Brother brother Tank. What goes in these areas that we live in in the city? Crime. Crime, a bunch of murder, yeah, theft, adultery, fornication, rape. But guess what? This is the thing. It's amongst our people, though. We Wake do it to up. each other. But then you let the oppressors that come in and blow your brains out in your own hood. Nobody does nothing. But yet we do all these atrocities towards each other. That shows we're a cursed people. And right. the, uh, we're the last high of first fire. Matter of fact, we're so cursed. The other nations, uh, uh, the so-called East Indians, uh, uh, Arabians, they'll move in your hoods and set up shopping, opening up their stores, selling you poisons, That's selling right. you pork, selling you cigarettes, black and mild, so you can kill yourself and they can get rich off of you. Right. That shows we are cursed in the city. Who are we talking about? The Israelites. If you didn't know, the Israelites are the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, the 12 tribes of Israel. That's right. Read it from the top again. Cursed shall thou be in the city, uh -huh. and cursed shall thou be in the field. Then it says, cursed shall thou be in the field, right? What nation of people was in the field picking cotton? Wake them up. What nation of people was in the field picking indigo? What nation? Huh? Exactly, it was us. But why? Right. Because we disobeyed the one true God. Bring it up. We broke his law, statutes, and commandments. Let's go into something else. Now, I asked Brother Tank this. He understands who he is. Matter of fact, just to make sure, what, who are you? Are you a black man? What are you? Brown. 
Brown. Come on, see, so you tell nah, you. Nah, nah, nah. Judah. Uh, uh, yeah, it's a light for the tribe of Judah, yeah, right? Yeah, it's a so, light from the tribe of Judah. That's so now my I mean. sister, my sister right here. Before coming up here, what would you call yourself as a as far as a nationality? Because this is going to actually tie into one of the curses that's on us. Black. Black, okay. So my man, my man, Brother Tank right here, his pants and his shirt is black. Does that match your skin complexion? That's D, really. So if you're not black, then who are you? You're brown, I guess. Yeah, you're, brown. Different, you're, a diff, you're a derivative of brown, but as far as your nationality, you're an Israelite according to the Bible. That's right. And what we're reading now is because of our disobedience back then, because we are our foremothers and forefathers. Because of our disobedience back then, we're going through the same thing now. We're feeling the curses. Right. So just like how if you're in your parents' house and you disrespect your parents and there's actions of repercussions, actions of repercussions were taken on us. That's why we don't know who we are today. Right. That's why we fall out to these different religions. Right. That's why we go out to these different nationalities. Right. That's why we call ourselves black and brown. Teach. We are cursed people. Now, let's go to, matter of fact, get, um, Get 28, verse 28. Bring it out. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 28. Uh -huh. The Lord shall smite thee with madness uh -huh. and blindness and astonishment of heart. Now, it says that because of our disobedience, the Lord will smite us with madness and blindness of heart. You want to know what was madness just, just a couple minutes ago? When the word of God was coming out and we had a nigga that was over there blasting his music while the word was being sung. Wake him up. Which, what's crazy is the word was for him. That's madness because we don't want to hear the we don't want to hear the words of God. We want to do what we want to do. That's right. madness. Lord. The Lord uh, shall smite thee with madness uh -huh. and blindness and astonishment of heart. Uh -huh. we don't. And thou shalt grope at noonday as the blind groweth in darkness. So I want y'all to think about something. Right now it's around. It's probably a little after twelve, but it's in the afternoon hour, the noon hour, right? So it says the blind is going to what? Grump in noonday, uh -huh. as the blind groweth in darkness. So, we, you can you can physically see that it's light outside, right? But it says that we're gonna grope at noonday as the blind grope up in darkness. If y'all know how a blind person gets around when they're trying to feel their way, they're trying to grope. They're trying to fit. They're trying to feel their way through, right? So that's not talking about how we're gonna be physically. This is spiritually. Now, let me ask you something. How are we trying to find our way as a people? Because if we're groping, that means that we're lost. Wake them up. So how are we as a people blind spiritually? What you got, Brother Tank and Brother Amaya? I mean, Sister Amaya, excuse me, I'm sorry. Well, yeah, um, like I said, we lost because we didn't listen to the word of God. Like what? What are some things we've been taught? What are some things we learned? Like stuff in the Bible, what Jesus looked like. History. Like geography. We learned it from somebody else. And right. Made it up with and we believed it, right? Right. So like when I was talking before about the color of Jesus, we were taught this image right here. Make them up. And you know what's so crazy? Behind this image is so many doctrines because behind a so-called white man is Christ. Home, they say that homosexuality is okay. Behind that image right there, they said God loves everyone. But think about it, if God loves everyone, where was that love when we was in chains of slavery? Teach! Where was it at? So this shows that the philosophy that this picture pushes is a lie. Well, that's that's right. right. It teaches us that, and you know and you know what's the number one contributor? It's Christianity. Y'all been to Christian church before? What are some things that, so. huh? Thank you so. I'm pretty sure, damn near everybody over here has been to Christian church before. What? I was I was a musician in the Christian church, so I already I already know yeah, the games. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. What is what are some things you heard? Uh, God loves everyone. Come as you are, which really means come as you are, stay as you are, right? But this is the thing: going after these different things that shows that we grope at noonday as the blind grope of in darkness, right? Because we're searching our way. Read on. Thou shalt not prosper in thy ways. It says we're not going to prosper in our ways. How many? You know, Christianity is the leading religion in the world. How long have we been in Christianity and we still got bums on the corner that don't know who they are? Bring it up. How long have we been in Christianity worshiping a white Jesus and we got sisters still selling their ass on the corner? Right. How long have we been in Christianity and nobody wants to hear the word of God? But yet that's the place where they have the Bible open at. Bring it up. 
We haven't prospered. Read it again. And shalt not prosper in thy ways. Our brothers are in Islam. How long? How long? Have, how long have uh, 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 we been selling bean pies and wearing uh, bow ties on the corner selling newspapers? Nothing has Where happened. Fuck? Nothing. Yeah. How, what you yeah. about to say? Then they started seeing us dancing or something, and they wanted to make money off of that. That and that's exactly right. Because the other nations look at us as entertainment. And but guess what? We follow that. Look at our rappers today. Look at our uh, our sisters that rap. All they are strippers with mics. Right. That's <laughs> with groping at noon, there's the blind group of the darkness. How many times read it again? Thou shalt not prosper in thy ways. How many fraternities and sororities that we have to join? How many uh, 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 brothers got to get in masonry? How many sisters got to be in the Eastern Stars? Nothing has changed. How many times we got to march up and up and down the block saying Black Lives Matter? Teach! That shows, read it again. And thou shalt not prosper in thy ways. We haven't prospered in any of our ways. Why? Because we haven't came back to the Bible and applied the laws, statutes, and commandments. What? Read. And thou shalt be only oppressed and spoiled evermore. You know what's so crazy? Let's go back to the civil rights movement in the 1960s. Now, even though the Christi even though Christianity is still a joke, it, at least at that time, there was still a sense of coming together. At that time, he knew who the enemy was. Right. The church was, quote unquote, a safe haven in some ways. But from the 60s up until now, have things gotten better or gotten worse? Um. They dumb certain things down. Like they, I, I guess, like, it's still there, but they don't just put it in our face. They do it a, a different way now, I guess. Like, they got smarter with certain things. They don't just, you know, just. Let me ask it this way. Back then, they was able to just throw us out. They let me, let me ask it this way. Like that, from that time, from that time to now, have we actually picked up the Bible and realized who we were? Teach! Because let's think about it. Let's stick on the topic of nationality, right? Y'all said black and African American. The Bible said otherwise. So my point is, is that these different ways that we go by hasn't really benefited us or helped us or is it worsened our condition? It worsened our condition, right? Let's show you some more. Get 37, because we're gonna stick on the topic of nationality. Get that, verse 37. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 37. No, no, no. No. Verse 30, verse 30, verse 30. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 30. You know? Thou shalt betroth thy wife, and another man shall lie with her. Now, y'all familiar with what happened to us in slavery, right? Right. Now read that again. Thou shalt betroth thy wife, and another man shall lie with her. Now. Y'all seen the movie, um, what was that movie with, uh, with, I think it was Jamie Foxx, Gabrielle Union, uh, what's it? 12 Years a Slave. 12, is 12 Years a Slave? Which one was the scene where, you know, Gabrielle, Gabrielle Union, she played the, the uh, wife of the slave? That was Birth of a Nation. Birth of a Nation, that's what it is, Nat Turner. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Y'all seen the movie Birth of a Nation? I wish I did. What about you, my sister? You remember the scene when the wife Okay, they had like a party at the little mansion or whatever, right? And they had the other slave owners that came through to the party. So one of the owners seen the sister, the character that Gabrielle Union played. And what it, what happened after that? What ended up happening? I can't remember. Read the scripture again. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 30. Thou shalt be told a wife, and another man shall lie with her. That slave owner slept with the character that Gabrielle Union played. But we're reading right here in the Bible that thou shalt betroth the wife and another man shall lie with her. These are just a few of the curses that have been on us because of our disobedience. This shows that this Bible is a true book. That's right. You're not going to get this from the Quran. Right. You're not going to get this from the Gilgamesh epics. Right. Right. You're not going to get this from the Egyptian book of the dead. You're right. going to get Jeez. this from the Holy Bible. That's, That's right. Right? Yeah. right? Read them. Thou shalt build in a house and thou shalt not dwell therein. You look at these these beautiful houses, monuments that are built around the country. You know that was built off our backs? But read that part again. Thou shalt build in a house, and thou shalt not dwell therein. We're gonna build a house and we're not gonna dwell therein. Nah, nigga, you sleep in the barn. You sleep out in the field. That happened to our people because why? We disobeyed the one true God. 
Right. Are y'all understanding that this Bible is talking about your history? What you got, yeah, brother? Yeah. yeah. Look, I, I don't think, man. It's just no way that we just disobey God. And, you know, the white person just like, yeah, we over y'all now. If this is what we're going to do, we're going to live life like um, this. The and we're going to go. Um, it ain't no way we just did uh, that one time. Be, be and, you know, you know that's what it's going country. to be. That's what it's going to be. Right, check this out, check this out real quick. Check this out. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 43. The stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high. Now, wait a minute. It says the stranger that is within thee. Read it again. The stranger that's what? The stranger that is within thee. Now, the stranger, this is going to all the other nations because what you don't realize is that this earth was created for our sake. Right. right. The stars, the moon, all that was created for us. But because we disobey God, read it again. The stranger that is within thee uh -huh. shall get up above thee very high. That's why today you see we have an image like this. Because the same people that put you in slavery, the same people that raped your foremothers and forefathers, buck break the men, they gave you this image, and now they're over us. Right. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you. And finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord, his word, his word.